Happy birthday, Kendall. Kendall, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Kendall. Coming up after this. Okay, it's Kenneth Sean Carson's 60th birthday. He turns 60. There was a new Silkstone released. I am kind of regretting buying it or opening it. It was really expensive and I'm really not at a point in my life right now where I have a place to put this. So maybe I shouldn't have unboxed it. It's really heavy. I think it's really fragile and I'm really clumsy. So I'm just gonna put that out of the way. Maybe he'll try on some of the clothes. It's really cool to have an example of both of the first releases of what Ken looked like. This is how he came with the shorts. I found out that the jacket didn't happen until 1962 when they re-released him without the flocked hair. And I also found out that in 1961, you could get the yellow towel or some of the very earlier releases came with an extra pair of red trunks, which doesn't make much sense to me because he's already got some pretty short shorts on, but I guess they would have been just slightly shorter and they didn't have the stripe. I think they were just red. And then I have this Ken, which is actually a mock-up between the regular beach dolls that you get the water play dolls at the store for five dollars which is cool i slept on this latest fashion used to head on them because it does look so much like the original ken sculpt i'm not sure if that's what they were going for but it's really cool and he's super fun to play with. In fact, because of how scared I am of breaking that $100 doll, I am so much more happy and I also think that the face looks cooler and everything, but it is a grail piece to own an original 1961 or a reproduction of the 1961. This is one that I got not so long ago when I found it, I think probably on Facebook or Kijiji. I got it for $40 which I think is a fantastic price. I remember seeing these at the Mattel store when I first started doing YouTube reviews and I was mostly doing, I guess I, there was, I definitely was going after Monster High, but I didn't really pay that much attention to Barbie. And I remember them having a few of these at really discount prices and I wish I would have bought them all. I'm pretty sure it was this set. Again, I wasn't paying attention. I knew it was a deluxe vintage set. And I got a lot of great things anyway at the Mattel store when we had it in Canada. It has been closed. So this one was issued 10 years ago. It was the 50th anniversary. So this was quite a great set. They gave you an outfit and then we've got the propaganda. And that's not something that came with uh, the latest Silkstone. We also have this history on the back. I think a lot of people have opened this. Maybe they're not going to show it to you as detailed as I will, because you know that is what I do. So it is a pretty cool set. I want to open it even more now, because I think this is in a silk stone. It's still very heavy, but yeah, this I feel comfortable just putting in a box. This I don't even feel comfortable putting back in the box it came in. I'm probably going to have to get some ribbon and then it'll have to be like archival ribbon or maybe I can dig the ribbon that I cut off it and put it back because I, I don't know. It's like something that you have to put in a showcase or I'm, I'm just so clumsy I'm worried and I can't put it in a box hanging around. This I can. This is all kinds of extras. I'm excited to see these clothes. That's something else you're going to see in this video. You're going to see those clothes be tried to put on a modern day Ken doll. Five points of articulation. It was good enough for the kids of the 60s. It was certainly good enough for me. Five points is all I need. I put these sandals on them that I found on one of my Ken dolls that had a fashion pack. I don't really like how that looks. I tried to mimic this look as much as I could. The shorts are WWE girl doll shorts, but they work really well for Ken underwear. So I have all of my WWE shorts put aside for Ken 
to wear. And they come in many, many different colors. But yes, he is going to have the luxury of trying on all of these fashions. Let's hope that they actually fit. I did try on the shorts from this guy on him and they actually did fit. So let's see how this is all put together. We've got thread. I love when the dolls are sewn into the box. And we got some elastics. I hope I'm not gonna regret this, but I do need one that I can actually play with. I'm also gonna compare this version to the Silkstone. The first difference I notice is the towel is about the same size, but this one is lighter and it actually looks more vintage color. It's actually a bit bigger, it's a bit longer. I think it has more of a vintage tone. Maybe we just think that lighter colors are vintage because they've faded over time, but pretty much similar. It is a thinner, this is a definitely a nicer, thicker, plushier towel than this one, but there's something about this one that the scale seems right. Put on my glasses. I probably should have showed you a better look of what was inside and how it was displayed without the glare. My favorite Ken, I'm gonna save all these things. I mean, of course I'll even save the box. Slid that off his hand, that was nice. I love how this says 50th anniversary. 50 was a big time. I wish I was collecting this stuff 50 years ago. That would have been a fun time to collect. Okay, and yes, this one feels so much more like something that I can play with. So I definitely feel more comfortable with this. The sandals also seem to fit on better or about the same. So I did get a few comments about how the sandals break and I'm not sure if it was back in the day. I think some people said even back in the day the sandals would break and they certainly do now. The new one, it is a solid piece. And I wonder if they're the same, we'll have to check that out. But these definitely slip on and fit better than the ones do on the porcelain doll. And he does feel like a regular, oh, his body's cracking a little bit. He feels like a regular doll that you buy today. Actually, there is something about these swim ones. They don't have the outward arm articulation like uh, even the most basic ones do, but I guess that has something to do with him drying out easier in the water, I think. And the arms are rubbery, so as much as I don't like when plastics don't match because there can be a color difference, I mean, it's done pretty well here where you can't really see a difference, but I do like these rubbery arms on these. But that's not common, like a fashionista is going to have a hollowed out plastic arm like these are. And I mean, he's pretty solid, but he's pretty light and he feels like he's good to play with. Oh yeah, his head is completely solid. His head is completely squishy. Oh man, it's so heavy. It really does freak me out. So there's a color difference. It might just be my lights, which are making him look paler, but I think he is pretty much the color. They did a really good job at reproducing the color and I think they made him a little more tan than he would be. But it is cool to have both of these. I like the eyes. The eyes are so much like Barbie's eyes were in 1959 when she was released. I have to say though, I do prefer the 1962 head with the sculpted. He has more of a flat top. I'm kind of more of a rockabilly kind of person. So I do prefer that cut to this one. And I hope I can get a reproduction of that one day. Let's see the difference between the shoes and see if they actually remodeled them. I guess they're not the same. They're very similar. The ones that came with the Silkstone have those letters written in them. They're the same size and everything, but I believe they did remold them. Or I don't know how that's done with computers nowadays, but maybe it did come from the same file. I'm sure 10 years ago, we weren't as advanced as we are now. Yeah, I feel so much more secure 
playing around with him, he does feel just like a normal doll. This is a great art piece though. You can see the plastic seams in him, front and back on the legs. His functionality and his crotch looks pretty much the same. His physique looks pretty much the same. I like his face in person. I like how he looks on camera better. He photographs better. Uh, I don't know. There's some um, something charming and endearing about both of them. What did they do for his head sculpt? They don't even have a date on the back of him. They actually did put the 1961 stamp on him in the back. As for the shorts, these shorts don't have a tag inside. Check out this video. He actually does have a tag inside these. I like the cotton on these ones better. It's more vintage. They really do feel vintagey. I'm mean, giving a full review of that guy again, which I shouldn't, because it is all about this guy. If you want to see more on him, definitely check out his review. So sandals go on better. Sandals fit on him better. He's going to be fun to play with. Tiny little arms and tinier little hands. Let's take a look at this propaganda. Okay, a sweet little catalog. Love these drawings. Showing Barbie. I guess this might be a total reproduction of the catalog that would have came with him and he would have come in a slimmer box like this and this is from the black label but it's not a silk stone as far as i know but i have one of these already opened from the house that they put out i do want to get the reproduction new house but then i'd have two of them but it comes with a really awesome doll with really great sets of fashion i'm going to flip through this completely so you can see that artwork is incredible 60 drawings. They couldn't use photographs as well, so they had to make drawings for print. Oh, finally we get to the Ken part. There he is. There he is in the tuxedo. That's the model of this. You buy the basic doll and then you buy the fashions separately. I would love if they did that again. Like I said in my last video, they do have fashion packs for Ken, but I would love for them just to make this basic Ken that you would get, and you would advertise him as a doll that you dress up, and then you get the fashion separately. This is the back of the book. I wonder if they still use that address. If you ever visit LA, you definitely want to go to the Mattel store. It's one of the highlights of my life. Any Mattel store that you can go to is always a highlight. So that's really cool. I actually saw this book is available and paper dolls. That's all girls had before Barbie was invented. Before that, fashion dolls were paper dolls. And there is Ken. Oh, look at that deluxe set. Definitely would like to get that. A decade of Ken dolls. And there's Ken and his buddy Alan. That was also a set that they put out. I really wish I would have gotten that. We don't get many redheads, actually. It could be argued that we've got no, like, true redheads for the Kens. There are a couple that are almost red. There's one coming out. There's a new fashionista who is a punk, and actually I'm not sure if his hair is actually red. I don't think these shoes are going to fit on my new fashionista. He comes with a stand too. It is slightly different. It is a slightly different base than this one, but they both do say Ken on them. It's the color blocking on the back of the box. This is the Certificate of Authenticity. I do love all of those little logos there. It shows you Ken as a jet setter, surfboard, sports car, glasses, hair, and all of this stuff is sewn to the plastic form with threads. Just a few little snips here and there. So they are making a Barbie line this year, I believe, which is a Barbie style line. I think they're paying more attention to the details of the clothing. So it'll probably be of more high quality 
pieces like this is, and that'll be great to see. Hopefully we will get a Ken eventually. So we have real buttons on this. There's an elastic, it's a very small elastic that goes around the neck and around the collar. The tie is tacked down. I think you're supposed to untack it. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. The shirt is constructed really nice. It's reminding me of the Twilight clothing. It's made like that. A very small 50s collar. It's hard to get a collar that small when you're working in this scale. Can't decide if to take the tie off or not. I won't do it in today's video. I will, however, see if I can put it on a regular Today Barbie. Are his guns too big for the show? The little elastic is underwhelming. I think it should be a thicker elastic, and I think they should have done it in red. But he's already looking pretty smart. I guess his neck is a little thicker. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice the little buttons on the outside. Really cute, really nicely made, really nice cotton. And it fits him really well, so that's pretty sweet. Then we have this really nice corduroy vest. And it has a really nice plaid lining. You could almost turn it inside out. I mean, I would have made it reversible. I guess it could be. I'm also reminded of the BTS fashions from the Deluxe line. If you haven't checked out those videos, definitely check them out. I will be doing more videos where I do steal the BTS clothing. Oh yeah, he is looking so smart in this outfit. That is great. I mean, at least he can wear the top parts. Should we try the pants before we try the jacket? So these are the pants. They have Harry Styles vibes for sure. One pocket in the back, sewn really nice, nice cuffs, and a button, and look at this, a zipper. Of course, that zipper is kind of ridiculous. It is not in scale, but really nice to see. I really should have put the pants on first. I guess this video is special for 2021. I am putting these clothes on a 60th anniversary doll. And yes, yes, yes. They are fitting on him fine. They will not fit on my Superman body for sure, but they fit very, very nicely. I mean, he's a little more curvy than the original Ken. Mm, I guess I best tuck his shirt in. Let me take off the vest and show you him and his whole pure cult look. I mean, we've got some Colonel Sanders vibes going on here. He's looking real good and real clean, kind of like a sailor. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with the socks. I do know his feet are larger. They're quite tight, so we're not gonna put those on. They have a weird shape that's actually shaped like Barbie's foot, which Ken's foot is not shaped like Barbie's foot. It's kind of a struggle even to get it on him, but let's do it anyway, just so you can see one. It actually looks really cozy and cute. Definitely needs a shoehorn. This can't be good for the sock or the shoe. I ordered this silk stone from Walmart Canada online. Some people asked about that as well. That's what the shoe looks like on. It's kind of Michael Jackson vibes going on there. Love this shoe though. A classic piece for sure. And this is kind of a look you would see on the runway today. Short shorts and socks and dress shoes. Okay, back to our 2021 Ken. The pants aren't as high-waisted as I thought they would be. And I guess things are a little tighter on him, but they're not ridiculously so. Everything is still fitting like a glove. He's looking pretty good in this outfit. We have one piece left. It is like a brushed cotton blazer with an embroidered crest. You gotta love that. It's a Fleur de Lis, I believe. Yeah, cool functioning pockets on all of these pieces. Gold buttons, we've got some upper lining and inside it says Repro by Mattel. That is really cool that they did that. So you couldn't scam someone. And there is a little button loop. So you can do up the middle button using the actual button. That is not something you ever see. I guess I could put it on him first. I would pop the collar to make it modern. 
I mean, this is totally something you would see on the runway today. This outfit exactly. Probably push up the sleeves like this. No shirt needed. Totally current. Runway ready. But let's see if we can layer, 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 which is something that usually doesn't work out with dolls. That is why they made this guy so thin. So you could do that. And then in current years, they made the bodies look more realistic. I mean, can we really say that about Barbie? But then we don't get to use as many layers for the clothes. Here he is, looking super scholarly. You know something? Seeing this on him, I don't think that his head is the right look. I think that this beach body's head, let me grab that. I think this head would pull off this outfit a bit more. I think it looks more him. It's kind of an Ivy League or Massachusetts look. It's very nautical. We've got the nautical colors. It's very patriotic, red, white, and blue. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good outfit. It's really great to see clothes made like this again. I wonder how much they could make an outfit like this for in current days. Let me be generous to the company and say $30. Would you pay $30 to get outfits? I mean, sometimes I buy dolls that cost that much for the outfits. I mean, that's luckily you can get some of these deluxe signature dolls like the BTS ones on sale and you can get these fashions. So that is kind of what I did for the clothes. I'm liking it. I'm liking this outfit. I'm liking that I have this doll that I can play with. I'm still super scared to have this heavy porcelain doll. I guess I have to put it up on my shelf or I am going to tie him back into his box. I mean, I even have her in her box and she's not going to break or anything. All right. Happy birthday, Kenneth Carson. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned to the end and I'll show you what this guy looks like in his outfit the way that he's supposed to. Hope you'll like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Too Hunky on Instagram, or Slate in the City on Instagram. We'll see you next time. I do want to know how much easier it is to dress the Ken that you're supposed to dress. And I would dress him, but I just I don't want to mess around with him. One day, if you give me thumbs ups, you like my videos and you watch all my videos, I might be able to have a house where I can showcase more of the toys. I have a special wall over here that I set up to showcase my favorites. I've ran out of space already. It's a really small fraction of what is super important to me. And I do want to show you my Ken wall in this upcoming month because it is Ken's birthday month. I mean, it's also Barbie's birthday month. I totally skipped over on Barbie's birthday. Let's face it, though, it's always Barbie's birthday here, everywhere. The shirt is much looser, much looser. It's got a very long torso. The socks and the white pants look super cute and cozy together. Clothes definitely fit on the new Ken much better. The vest tucks them in all nice and cozy. It's quite a chore dressing your dolls. It's actually harder than yourself. And here he is in his smart, smart blazer. It would look better popping the blazer collar too. Yeah, that looks real good. It suits him. It looks much better in it than the first blonde guy that I had in it. It looks really good on him. Oh, and the shoes. I did notice a hole in one of the socks from where it's stitched into the box. That's unfortunate that that happens, and I am sure putting these shoes on is not going to help that. But I should dress him up at least once in his proper outfit. Right here he is, looking super smart and dapper. He's got a little pop of red when he's walking. His pants are looking super stylish. See, five points. That's all the articulation you need. Something great about his stance, too, that I don't necessarily see in the new dolls of the day. It's probably because of his thinner appendages. Of course, he can wear the clothes a lot better. 
so, so good. You seen those shoes?